Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to have real superhuman abilities? Oh yes, but uh, apparently 10 people already know. Let's find out. I'll Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. Thank you for joining us again on this wonderful day. I am one of your hosts, Fuzzy. And this here to my left is, is Elroy. Or Fuzzy Pantalones. Elroy. Okay, we'll go with Elroy. <laughs> Alright, uh, today we have for you some 10 amazing people with superhuman abilities. Um, <laughs> Phalanges! Anyway. No, I'll phalange you. But anyway. What do you call the toes? The toes? Yeah, um, the toes. Probably <laughs> toes. I know I have them, buddy. But it's art. Alright, so uh, this Gino Martino is basically. He has the head of an, am of an anvil. Uh, <laughs> he's got a really thick skull. He can take nails and bash them through wood. Uh, he can break mortar bricks and shit like that, I'm guessing, because oh, yes. what we were reading, it's just crazy. It's not nothing that we've seen to verify, but we just thought this was a, a, an interesting uh, article to bring to you guys. And it has been studied by other people with right. higher, much more credible... <laughs> more credible than what we are. Yeah. Um, but apparently he, uh, he survived a drop with a... a a bowling ball from 15 feet on the top of his head. Now I would think like his spinal cord would be like shot or you know something's gonna be wrong back there. Uh, but apparently not. But that's how he basically got to be known as the human anvil. Uh, not just that, you know, just because of him bashing his head all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, that is one of them. So apparently he has a really thick skull and he, he puts does. a new meaning to thick-headed. Yes, he does. Indeed. So next we have... We have Tim Cridlin, the Torture King. So apparently, since uh, he was young, he realized that he had the... Uh, ability? He had the ability to endure large amounts of pain. Or not right. feel anything. Or, or, or not feel. I guess it's a, a condition uh, called... Something. <laughs> you know, the tolerance of pain and the doctors are recommending. That's just what oh. it is. Well, we don't know what the condition's called, but it causes you to not feel pain, and it's very dangerous. But apparently he's been on Ripley's Believe It or Not, and like... Uh, and he's in the Guinness World Book of Records. Yes. Uh, what were some of the things that he's uh, done to himself? Uh, he's laid on a bed of nails and had audience jump on him while he was doing so. Mm. He's drived, or he's driven, uh, like, I guess... Stakes her rods through skewers? his body. His skewers. He has skewered his body with uh, with skewers like multiple times all over the place, and, and he didn't feel a thing. Did not feel a thing in that crazy bastard that you can think of. I, I mean, I man, and he swallowed a flaming sword. Oh yeah, he swallowed swords on fire, and uh, that's crazy. So next we have Mister uh, Wim Hof. Yeah, Wim Hof, which I think the name is amazing. He doesn't need to be called <laughs> the, yeah, ice the Man. Ice Man. He is the Ice Man. So what can you tell us? Uh, well, I guess he has, or it's been proven that he has the ability to control his inner body temperature, his mind, with his mind with me matter. with meditation, of course. Meditation's crazy stuff. So he has te or gone or undergone tests to prove. And what? Ready? I'm trying to do mind over matter. I'm oh, sorry. okay, all right. <laughs> He's undergone tests to prove he that he can do so by submerging his body in ice for over an hour, for an hour and fifty-two minutes. That is, that, cool. that is very that cold. That has to be freezing. And to further prove himself, he has uh, he has climbed what was it, Kilimanjaro? Kilimanjaro, yeah, yes. Kilimanjaro, and bare nothing, naked except for his skivvies. And nothing but his skivvies. That's pretty crazy too. I can't believe that. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, I mean, it's it, it's proven, but still. Yeah, he's done it several times, I guess. Several times. Yeah. Jesus, he's done crazy stuff. But all right, well, that's that's uh, Wim Hof, the Ice Wim Man. Hoff. Uh, now we have Matsu 
where'd you go? Hmm. Oyama. He can kill a bull with one blow of his hand. Uh, apparently, this guy here uh, defeated a hundred men in about a series of two minutes apiece. Uh, and one of the times, uh, and it lasted for three days, but then one of the times he actually supposedly fought 52 bulls and killed three of them with just one single blow with his hand. Oh. What the? <laughs> what did he do? Like, how did he hit him? That's just crazy. I'm wondering, like, if he, like, just karate chopped them in half. <laughs> Here's, or if your, there was like, here's a side of beef. Little videos like just like here's dinner tonight and <laughs> what is it called? Uh Stofers? Yeah, Stofers. That's how you get Stofers meal. <laughs> right, you just have this Chinaman just I mean <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> This uh martial artist just cutting off meat with his hands. Apologies. Uh yes, sorry. Uh <laughs> Tibetan monks monks who practice sumo. Uh, can produce intense body heat. Basically, these guys here, uh, they meditate, and they can take the inner heat from themselves and just bring them out and just create create just immense body heat just by meditating, not doing anything else. But anyway, they've uh, they've taken uh, large uh, uh, they've taken towels soaked in ice water and they've put it on their shoulders, and within an hour they've come back. And they have been completely dry, bone dry. So that that is that is really hot. Like that's crazy. Sexy, is it? Oh, you said it's hot. It is hot. Oh, my bad. Uh, let's see here. Next we have uh, Master Zhu, Zhao, Jewel of China. Uh, basically, <laughs> this guy here is a kung fu master uh, and a healer of sorts. Uh, basically, he takes the key or chi as they call it. And he puts it into his hands, uh, and apparently he can boil water with his hands. Which we will be going to look at after Which this Which I really want to see this, yes. if, if I'm honest. But anyway, uh, he can just take the heat from his body and just channel it into his hands so crazy-like uh, that he's actually uh, apparently used the heat to cure tumors, body pains, and varieties of ailments. He's actually... Uh, been used by the Dalai Lama and uh, the LA Lakers basketball team. So that is crazy. You need a killer back massage? Yeah, right. Go to Master Zhao. Icy hot. Icy hot. We'll just get Mr. Wim Hof to go first and lay on you while we get him to heat you up. All right, well, next on this list of crazy superhuman people. Yes. Is, uh,. Well, uh, known to the French, he is known as uh, Monsieur Mangatout. Tout. His name is Michael or Mikel Lotito. Basically, he could eat pretty much anything. Uh, I guess uh, that's that's an understatement. It is an understatement. I guess over uh, over the period of time, he over a period of two years, he's eaten an entire airplane. And uh, seven TV sets, 18 bicycles, 15 shopping carts, a coffin, a portion of the Eiffel Tower. How'd he get that? I don't, like, I imagine, I'm just thinking he has steel poops. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he drops ingots. Oh, okay. Like, he brings Probably. out bars. Well, they say ingots. you can you can digest razor blades. I don't want to find that out. Oh, okay. Like, you they... don't want to see if you're superhuman? I don't think I am. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. We'll just watch me eat a lot of food and see if I die. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway. He apparently he has like uh, extra, or he has like extra strong lining in his stomach. And he has the ability to withstand lead poisoning and many other different types of poisonings that could come from eating metallic substances or other things. Probably because of that. It doesn't absorb into his Yeah, body, maybe. Probably. It doesn't absorb into... It doesn't digest and doesn't absorb into his stream or anything. So he did that from uh, 1950 to 1997, uh -huh. and then he uh, pretty much did what? Uh, well, that was his career, I think, and then basically he would cut them up in small pieces and swallow them with mineral oil and water. And uh, he, he died in 2007, but it was of natural causes. Which just seems odd. Shocking. I shocking. Figured, shocking. I he would die of tetanus. <laughs> Rusty metal. Rusty All right, metal. There you go. There's one for you. 
This guy's been known around. Yeah, it is Asayo Machi. He uh, basically is the crazy sword master. He is able to predict where a BB, a plastic BB traveling at 200 miles per hour is going to be with enough time for him to be able to pull, unsheath his sword and cut it in midair. I think that he really just trusts that the guy shooting it is going to put it where he said to put it. I don't think he said to put it anywhere. I think it was just the fire. I don't know. And plus, know. also you have to I mean, consider... you got wind factors and everything yeah. like throwing it off. I get that. And it's a plastic BB, so the wind so factors would heavily... He's, he's amazingly fast is what it comes down to. Well, inhumanly fast. When it comes to drawing a sword. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that. I would not. Well, I would not want to get into a sword fight. I don't know. I haven't seen his sword fighting abilities, but that's right. true. All right. Next, uh, this kid here, as Ben Underwood, sees through sound. Uh, basically, he was born in 1992, uh, suffered from retinal cancer, and had both of his eyes surgically removed by age three. Uh, by really age young. five, he harnessed the ability to practice echolocation. The remarkable skill is used to detect objects by hearing the sounds projected from them. So basically like a bat. Um, unfortunately, this guy here, this kid here, uh, died whenever he was uh, 16 years of age in 2009. So could you imagine if he had time to really, really hone that in? Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's like Daredevil shit right there. It is. I feel like it was the plot to Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Next. All right. Last. This is number number one right here. Last but not least is Natasha Demkina, X-ray Vision Girl. Uh, she's known by the native Russian, or she's known by in her native Russian as the girl with X-ray eyes. She claims to have the ability to see, basically anything or to see people's organs and below the tissue of people and Man, that'd be crazy and also pick out like uh things that are wrong with you like, like i guess tumors like tumors and stuff like that cancerous like that. things and everything like that without even having to use x-rays or anything to tell you that uh she was put to the test by the discovery i think it was the discovery channel yeah after you know before reading this i was going to say bullshit but yeah, I was yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, okay. But, I mean, she was put to test by Discovery Channel, and uh, there were six volunteers with various ailments that were not, you know, not announced to her and everything. Right. So, she... Blind test. Basi basically, yeah, blind test. She basically, she picked out four, of, she got four right out of the six, and which I think is impressive and still pretty exactly. valid, like... I mean, I don't know what the other conditions for the other two people were that she didn't get. Maybe it was something that she wasn't able to see. I don't know. Maybe they were lying. Well, yeah, maybe it was a lie and they just didn't want someone to be capable of doing such things. Yeah. Like, you know, hide her ability. But hey, I mean, you know, so we got x-ray vision, uh, sound echolocation, super sword skills, uh, ability to eat metal objects, uh, ability to heal... A headbanger. And Ability to heal and burn with your hands. A human uh, clothing dryer. A human bull smashing machine. <laughs> which that is also a bull killing machine. A bull killing machine. A uh, human slaughterhouse. <laughs> right, a human yes. slaughterhouse. And uh, what else? Oh, uh, it was uh, the Iceman one. Yeah, the, and a guy who just likes to swim just, just through likes ice pools. So, all right, uh, I think that'll be it for today. So, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and, and like. Hit that like if you like to. Oh, I and, like you guys, uh, so you should like me too. And we'll see you on the next show. Oh, well, yes, and uh, good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. Dad.